it is me again. It is Monday, July 9th at about 4.15 p.m. Um, I Let's start off with what today is. Today is my first day on first shift. So um, I worked from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. today. That was great. Um, so I got that first one under my belt. I was really nervous about it yesterday. Um, pretty much all day yesterday when I worked my second shift, I worked until about 8 p.m. Um, they let me go early so I could go home and rest so I could come back at 6 a.m. Um, but I was kind of nervous about it because it's it's all new people. Like I know all these people and I, and I for the most part know how they like to work, but I, I'm used to who I work with on a daily basis. Like my second shift people, I'm used to what they like, what they, you know, like to do in their process. So it's gonna be kind of a learning curve to kind of figure out who likes to do what and when. Um, so that's, that'll be interesting, but I was really nervous about it to like start at full time. I've worked first shift um, at my current job before, um, but having this as my permanent schedule, it's not like I can just come and mess up somebody to stay and then leave again. It's, I'm here, I'm here to stay. Um, so that's exciting, I'm, I'm ready to be a normal human being where I can go to work in the morning and be done in the afternoon and be able to do things. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I worked from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. My alarm clock went off at 4. I didn't hit snooze, which is a big one for me because I always hit snooze. I always hit snooze. Um, I think I had all of my, like, my vitamins and stuff taken in my breakfast ready by about 4.30. Um, so that it didn't take too long. I sat down and ate my breakfast and kind of tried to talk my dog into coming out from underneath the bed. I had to bribe her. It was harder to get my dog up out of bed than it was for me. Like, I kept like saying, come here, let's go, let's go outside. We can go potty outside. Didn't come out from underneath the bed. You want a piece of my turkey bacon? Didn't come out from underneath the bed. I got on the floor and looked under the bed and she was just staring at me like, dude, it's too early for this. So eventually I went out into the kitchen and I grabbed the bag of dog jerky. I said, Kiki, you want a piece of jerky? Come on, come get some jerky. And she just slowly started coming out from underneath the bed like, do you say jerky? Do you say jerky? So she eventually did come out, um, but she, like, she came out and she wouldn't come near me because she, I think she was mad at me for waking her up so early. Like, she didn't want to come by me to, like, get the jerky, so I had to, like, rip it in half and throw it at her <laughs> so she would actually get it because she just wasn't having it with me. She was not a happy camper. But, uh, yeah, so that was my morning. Um, I got to work by about 5.30, 5-ish. Um, it's nice because when you get to work that early, you don't have to worry about having to park out in East Jesus. You get, like, a, a close spot all the time, which is sweet. Um, so yeah, that was my morning. And then, again, I worked from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. So my breakfast was at about 4.30. Um, and I had lunch, which was my shake, my 310 Nutrition Salted Caramel Shake. I'm like, still trying to get rid, of a, get rid of it so I can move on and not have to worry about finishing it later. Um, but I had that around 11.30-ish. Um, but it, again, I mentioned it before in my, my previous vlog. It, they're super easy to like use for meals because they're really convenient. You just, you know, do the almond milk thing and the meal replacement shake powder mix. Um, you do that in the morning, you take it to work with you, put it in the fridge, and it's there for when you're ready to have lunch or whatever meal you're having it for. So it was, it was nice to be able to just walk out there when I got like a two second period where I'm just like, okay, my things are done for right now, I'm caught up, I'm gonna go grab my lunch. Um, so I got to sit outside today too on my break and drink my shake. It was nice and hot. It's like 80, well, it was about 90 degrees right now where I live. So, um, so it was nice and toasty this morning too. But yeah, so that was the day so far. Straight from work to the gym. Got my workout in for the day. I did my cardio, um, my treadmill, my upper and lower bike. Um, as well as a couple of weight trainings, not, again, not too major, still focusing mainly on the cardio. Um, but I did the leg press like I always do. Um, and then I also, for the leg press, um, something on my face, um, for the leg press, I 
kind of moved my feet down so I could do like with just moving it with my toes, uh, which really worked out my ankles, which I've said before, I've sprained my ankles so many times, so I have weak ankles. Um, so if I can do what I can to get those strengthened up so I'm not spraining my ankle every time I go for a walk, um, that's great. So so I did that, I did that a little bit using my my toes that worked out my, my ankles, my calves, that was nice. And then I did the two hip flexor, flexor? hip flexor ones, um, the inner and outer. So I'm sure I'll be a little bit sore tomorrow. Um, then I also did the one where um, you sit down and you face this thing and there's like the pad that sits between your chest and then you pull the weights like towards you, like you're kind of like you're rowing. I forgot what it's called. Um, but the one they have is actually pretty nice because they have it divided. The whole thing's not connected, so it's kind of like you can do both. You can really strengthen one arm, focus on one arm, or you can do the other arm, or you can do both. So it's nice. Uh, I, like, I like that that machine. All the other ones that I've tried with that exercise have been connected, and it's just been like one big thing. Um, so, yeah, I did that today as well. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if I did anything else. I think that's it. Um, I think when I go next time, I will try the elliptical. I'm just not very coordinated. <laughs> Every time I try to do it, I'm just kind of like a flinging, flying machine. And <laughs> I just kind of flail and I'm like, I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm clumsy. So I don't know if I'm coordinated enough to do it, but I'll try it. Um, I'm supposed to go to the gym with my friend tomorrow morning. She's gonna be my free guest. Um, try and get her into going to the gym too. She has an elliptical at home but um, she agreed to kind of come with me and work out with me if uh, she wanted to. Because I, I mentioned to her um, that, you know, you know, get a gym membership. We'll go together. When we have a bad day, we'll go to the gym and we'll just, you know, work it out. Like, it's fine. Let's do it. She's like, yeah, I could probably do that, but I don't really want to spend money. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, I hear you. So she's going to be my free guest and kind of just try it out and if she, I think if I think if maybe she likes it, she'll eventually just get her own membership. Um, but right now she's kind of like, I don't know if I'll, I'll, I'll even go if I get one myself. I won't go by myself. And I'm like, I think you will if you just keep doing it. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow morning. Um, so Tuesday morning we're gonna go. I think we're gonna I'm gonna pick her up at her house at like quarter to nine. So it's gonna be another early morning. But um, yeah, it'll be a good day. Kind of get a workout in right away. Um, I'm gonna have to just work through my soreness because I'm sure I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Um, working those back muscles, I haven't done that, have, haven't really done that yet. Um, as well as um, my hip flexor ones because those tend to always make me sore. I don't know why, but yeah. So that's kind of on the docket for tomorrow. I'm gonna go home and figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner. I'm probably gonna still do my chicken. I have one more piece of chicken uh, with the teriyaki pineapple marinade so I have one more piece of that and I have some veggies that I stuck in a Tupperware container that I was planning on taking to work with me but then I changed my mind and decided to just do the um, shake today so then I have those I'll probably eat that for dinner um, and then maybe have a snack if I'm feeling frisky but the last couple of days my it, my calorie intake hasn't been very high like it's barely it's barely topped 800 so like I'm well beneath what I need to be, or what I what my goal is, um, <clears throat> and I and you know the thing is the thing is is I'm not like super hungry, so I'm not feeling like I'm starving myself or, you know I don't feel like I'm, uh, um, <clears throat> I don't feel like I'm, you know just making myself feel miserable because I'm not hungry like I just I'm not so. We'll see how the day goes, but I was tempted to actually stop at Chili's and get um, one of their like guiltless meals and take it for dinner, but I decided not to because basically all of them have rice in it. And I'm like, I should just stay away from rice. That's a pretty heavy duty carb. So um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm planning for tonight. Um, I also have mentioned in a previous vlog that I am into like makeup and stuff. so. Um, I might do a makeup look with the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette um, and his liquid lips from his summer collection this year, the 2018 
collection, which is gorgeous. Um, and I also got two of um, the lip scrubs, the velour lip scrubs from him. I have never, I had never tried one before. They're freaking amazing. Like he wasn't shitting when he said they taste so good, and he's like eating it out of the tub. Um, I got the orange gummy bear and the pink lemonade. My favorite of the two is the pink lemonade. But yeah, they're freaking good. They've got, they're made of sugar, so you get a little tiny treat while you're doing really good things for your lips. Um, but yeah, so that's, I might do that. If I do, what I'll do is I'll maybe post or insert a clip or a picture of the makeup look. I may vlog tomorrow because like I said, I'm going to the gym in the morning. Um, but if I don't, I will see you guys on Thursday. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any last minute details. I think that's about it for the day. So, yeah. Um, if anything comes up, I will vlog it. All right, bye.